I am sure by now you have either seen or heard about faceless channels taking over social media. And these are the type of channels that are on YouTube right now making thousands of dollars a month. So today I'm about to test the top three AI video generators that are making these type of faceless videos from simple prompts, which is making it much easier for people to create these type of channels, to grow fast, and to actually get paid. But today I want to find out once and for all which of these is the absolute best at creating faceless videos. We're going to be looking at how easy it is to use these tools. We need to check out the price. We want to look at the features that they offer as well as the most important thing of it all. Is it giving us videos that can make us thousands of dollars a month? So if you're ready to start making money, you definitely don't want to miss this one. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with a news that you can use, but first if you are new here. Hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, shalom, assalamu alaikum, jambo, namaste. So we are not going to waste any time. We jumping straight in and we're going to check out the first two, which is NVIDIA AI. And I put the link down to this in the description for you to sign up and get a free account so that in case you are interested in following along with me, we can do this together. So what this particular tool is going to do is create a script, it's going to give you a voiceover, it's going to apply music, it's also going to add stock images and videos, and it's going to do all of the editing for you. And this will all be done from one single prompt that you give it. So how this works is after you've signed up for that free account, you'll be brought to this page right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the workflow. And there are several options. You can do shorts, you can do explainer videos, you can do recent events. I'm going to go with an explainer. And once you select that, they are going to ask how long you want your video. Now these videos actually can go up to 30 minutes. But for the sake of today's video, we're just going to stick with two minutes. And then in this first box, this is where you are going to enter that prompt to tell it what type of video you would like it to create. So what I asked it to do was to create a video about five interesting facts about Paris, France that many people do not know. And then in this second box down here is going to ask you to add any type of creative direction you want to give it. The only thing I'm just going to put here is to add humor. You don't even have to use that box honestly. So at this point we're going to go down to the setting. And this is where we're going to choose the voice over type as far as gender. I'm going to go with female. And for the voice, I'm going to choose a Northern English voice. Why? It just sounds fancy. And the next thing I'm going to select is the subtitles. And it allows you to choose how you want the subtitles to be displayed. And after that, we're going to hit continue and then we'll hit generate. So it's going to ask you a few more questions to make sure it gets this video correct. And the first is going to be what type of audience you're going for. And I'm going to choose tourists because on YouTube, these videos actually do well, especially for people that are interested in facts about different places who like to travel. So also going to ask for the look and feel, and I'm going to go with something crisp. And then it's going to ask the platform. Of course, we're going to stick with YouTube. And at this point, it is going to work as a magic and create a video for you. And this is what it produced. Did you know these interesting facts about Paris? Let's start with something heavy. In the heart of France, towering above the cityscape, stands the Eiffel Tower, tipping the scales at a whopping 10,100 tons. That's a lot of metal and moxie, don't you think? To say that this all came from a single prompt that you gave it and a few selections you made, this is really good. One thing that really stood out to me was all of the different video clips that it inserted in here. That is actually really good, especially when it comes to producing high quality videos that are engaging. But another thing that I found to be really good about NVIDIA is the fact that if you want to change anything in this video, all you have to do is come down here to this edit command box. And again, you can give it a prompt and just tell it what you want it to change. For instance, let's say we don't like the Northern English accent and we want to change it to a British one. And we also want to change the gender to male. We'll just ask it to change the voice over to a male with a British accent. And just like that, it changed it. We didn't have to do anything. Did you know these interesting facts about Paris? 
let's start with something heavy now the way they have this set up it makes things so easy and it saves you a lot of time which allows you to produce tons of video now it also does give you the option to manually edit if you prefer you can just click that edit tab and then you can select whichever scene you want to change and let's say there was a lot of eiffel towers coming up i want to change that opening scene to another part of paris so i'll just type in paris and i'll go through see which one i like and i'll just select replace and apply changes did you know these interesting facts about paris in the heart of france so for ease of use i am going to give this one a 10 out of 10 because it is really simple and easy and as far as the quality of video i am also going to give it a 10 out of 10 because i really do like the way that it produced this video as far as the features with that edit command box and with you being able to give it the prompts and just select how you want the subtitles really easy i love all of the features that it provides we're going to give this one a 10 out of 10 as well but now let's take a look at the pricing so again like i said you can sign up for an absolutely free account but that is limited but the next one which is the plus plan it is 25 dollars a month which is actually not bad for all of the things that this provides and all of the things that it does and especially when you compare it to other tools that are out there so for price we're going to go with an 8 out of 10 for this one so next on our list, we have a tool called Flicky AI. And you are also able to create a free account with them to get started. And when you are logged in, you'll be brought to this page right here. And we are going to have to choose new file. And then there's a few questions they're gonna ask you. The file type, of course, we're trying to create a video. And you can also choose the language. There's tons of different languages for you to choose from, but I'm gonna stick with English. And you can also select whatever dialect you like, but I'm gonna stick with the United States here as well. Now, as far as aspect ratio, depending on what type of video you're creating is which one you'll choose. I'm gonna go with landscape 16 by nine because that's what is used for long form. Long form on YouTube is anything that's over 60 seconds. And then they're going to ask you what you want to start with. And you can actually start this from a blog. You can start it from a tweet. I am going to start it from an idea which makes this very similar to in video. Because from that idea, they're basically going to ask you to enter a prompt for it to create a video. So I use the exact same prompt that we entered into in video again, so we can compare to see what type of videos it creates. And as far as duration, I am going to choose again two minutes. But when I select two minutes on this one, it says I have to upgrade, which sucks because two minutes is not a lot of time. So when we are looking at the pricing, the standard monthly price for Flicky is $28 a month, which is more than in video. So already for me, we're losing points here. I am going to give this price a seven out of 10. But I did upgrade for the sake of this video because we really wanna test this out and see which is the best. So now I'm able to generate a video that's two minutes. And from there, we have to select that we want it to use stock images and auto select them. And then we will continue. And at this point, this is the video that it came up with. Welcome to the city of love, or better known as every bread lover's dream destination. Yes, we're in Paris, France, where the Eiffel Tower isn't the only thing towering. The city's bakeries produce over 10 billion baguettes annually. So one thing I don't like is that the scenes are really long. It stays on one video for a long amount of time, which is going to lose people's interest. But unlike with in video where I can just enter the prompt and ask it to change it, I will have to manually do all of the work here. But the edit process is similar to the way that you manually edit in in video as well. So I had to go through and add extra scenes to it so that I could reduce the words that's in one and add it to another one and then i had to search for the clips to add to this new scene which we're talking about paris france so i went and i found something related to it so so far when it comes to ease of use for this one i am going to give it a 7 out of 10 because this requires you to do way more work than in videos did there were too many edits that i had to go through and manually change but as far as the quality of the video I do give it a 10 out of 10. I do like how the videos look. I do like how they added the subtitles to this. 
now as far as features one amazing thing that stands out for this one that i did not see in any other tool is the fact that it can generate ai images that can be used in the video and to test it out i just hit auto generate to see what they will produce and this is what they came up with for me to add to that scene and i do not like it so i am going to give it a little direction and it created a nice image for that so i am going to add it to that scene and because of that feature alone i am going to give this a 10 out of 10. now the last tool we are going to check out is going to be pictory ai so again we are able to sign up for a free account with them however this free account is only limited to 14 days so once you are logged in you have to choose to create a script to video and this one is going to be completely different from NVIDIA and Flicky because you cannot give this one a prompt to create a video and it is not going to provide a script for you you are going to have to give it a script now there is an easy fix to that you can always go to chat GPT and you can ask it to create a two minute script about the same topic we've been using that's what i did i added it to word kind of spaced it out because the spaces is going to be the different scenes then i took that and i pasted it into pictory and this is already a lot of work just that part right there which is slowing down your progress but we are going to proceed and from here what it is going to do is create a video with subtitles and music but one thing it does not give you is a voiceover so if you want to add a voiceover which we have in all of the other videos so you are going to have to go over to audio on the side and then you're going to have to choose voiceover you'll have to go down to the ones that are allowed with the free version and now if you want to make any changes to the video from here it is very similar to the manual editing process of all the others if you want to change a video in here you'll choose the scene search for a new one and then you'll just select it and this is what it'll look like bonjour mise en me welcome to paris unveiled the show that's here to spill the beans on the city of love honestly in this one i don't like how the voiceover sounds as much as i do with the other ones so for the quality of the video that's going to make me give it a 9 out of 10. the images itself are still pretty good but their voiceover is just not doing it for me as far as the ease of using this goes for this one i'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. there was way more work that was required with this than any of them and the features this one is pretty basic it doesn't have anything that really stands out to me about this one so i am going to give it a 7 out of 10. it has to do something special like in video has that edit command box and it works just from a single prompt this one you can't even enter prompts you have to do your own script you have to manually edit you just have to clock in for a nine to five here for sure so the monthly plan here starts at $23 a month which is the least of them all so just because of that I am going to give it a 9 out of 10 for price it didn't get the 10 out of 10 because of that free account they only give you 14 days of it and also because of that $23 price it doesn't have a whole lot of features that I feel like is really worth the $23 so overall when we look at these scores with Pictory AI, it gets a 7.75 out of 10. Flicky AI is going to get an 8.5 and NVIDIA gets a 9.5 out of 10. So the best one in my opinion is going to be NVIDIA AI. I just feel like you get more bang for your buck. I feel like this is easy. Anyone can use it and it's going to allow you to work at a faster pace, produce more. So again, if you want to check that one out, you can. The link is down below. Other than that, I thank you so much for watching and until next time, we are out. Peace. <laughs>